So I'll record this one too. Um, applied problem two, page 113. So um, we're figuring out about doing something similar to question number two on the assignment, making these graphs in Excel. Um, so I said something similar would be applied, applied problem two on page 113. And it doesn't give you total cost and total revenue equations, but it gives you marginal cost and marginal revenue equations. And again, P is a unit of pollution. So it's like a quantity, not price. But so if I want to make a picture here, well, I've got my price or my quantity. And I don't know how big these are going to be. So at least for now, a eh, thousand. I'll go in increments of 10. Let's see what that will do for me. So I just want to graph this. So I'm going to type in my little formula here. So I've got my price column. The, my marginal cost formula is 40 times that, that pollution variable. And my marginal revenue was 1,000 minus 10 times that pollution variable. And I'm going to copy those columns all the way down. Eh, that's pretty small, so let me do units of, I think it's up to 20, the units of two. I'll do it like that instead. So I've got my little P column, just made up values of P. My marginal cost column is the equation that they've given me, 40 times P, 40 times this F column. Marginal revenue, 1,000 minus 10 times P, or 1,000 minus 10 times my F column also. And so I've got a table of those values. Produce a chart <clears throat> with Q on the horizontal axis. Um, so here I'm going to have the unit of pollution on the horizontal axis. And I want to produce a chart. So I will do, I'll just, you know, just let me highlight one of them first. So a little bit more of making graphs in Excel tutorial. Let's see if I can get this smaller. So I had my price go, it only went to about 32. And my horizontal axis is only going to about 32, so that's good. My vertical axis is measuring the, the dollar amounts, the marginal costs and marginal revenues. And those went up all the way to 1,200 something. And that's what these are doing. The, so I'm pretty confident that, well, 40 times P, so the marginal cost should be rising as the units of pollution increase. I want to add my marginal revenue variable to that too. So I need to go to the design tab, select data. I want a add a variable. Its name will be marginal revenue. The X values will be the P's over here. And the Y values will be those marginal revenue things. Okay, okay. In my table, marginal revenue decreased as the units of pollution increased. And just like most of the other pictures in the chapter, on page 94, the marginal cost increased as the level of activity increased and the marginal benefit decreased as the level of activity increased. So I get something similar happening here too. Add a chart legend. There we go. So blue line is my marginal cost. Orange line is my marginal revenue. And the question probably asked something about uh, how much pollution reduction should the Appalachian coal mining undertake? How much pollution reduction should they do? They should reduce all of it. We don't like there being pollution. We should reduce it all. So the optimal level of pollution reduction should just be P is as big as you can get because we want to reduce. Well, doing that's going to be ex extremely expensive. Um, you can also say, well, let's just, let's reduce pollution such that there's, you know, we don't have any expenses at all. 
you could just reduce no pollution at all to be zero. But <clears throat> again, most economists are going to tell you that the optimal level of doing anything is where the marginal benefit equals the marginal cost. So I've got my marginal cost here, the blue line. The marginal revenue or the marginal benefit is my orange line. And if I stayed at a fairly low level of pollution, well, the benefit's fairly high of reducing another, reducing pollution by one more unit. So we still have fairly high revenue, uh, additional revenue from doing that. And it's not very expensive to reduce pollution at this fairly low level. So we continue to reduce our level of pollution until we get to that intersection. So it looks like reducing our pollution by 20 units such that the marginal revenue of marginal cost equal 800 is going to be the optimal level of pollution reduction for this Appalachian coal mining company.